what's up guys welcome back to the channel as you all know Halloween is officially been over for like a week now and what do we all have sitting around or a lot of us do pumpkins jack-o-lanterns I myself of course have four children so I have a lot of leftover pumpkins and if you let the pumpkins sit out and they end up rotting they stink they get mushy you got to get rid of them somehow you either got to throw them away toss them in the woods if you have a lot of property you got you just got to get rid of them I want to show you a bunch of fun ways today to get rid of your old pumpkins also the seeds from some of these when they blow up next year I'll probably have a pumpkin patch behind my firing range how awesome will that be so if you think destruction's fun you like to see things blow up and you like to see awesome ways to just destroy things Keep watching guys, you're going to love this video. Okay, we're going to start off with a bang with this first pumpkin. Here I have a 2 liter. With my previous video, I used some blast caps. I pumped this to a 110 PSI and it's full of some red blood. Should make for a great, awesome target. And my slow-mo camera should show some awesome footage. So, let me back up. I'm going to shoot with my son's little 22 because it's the lowest power gun I have. Let's blow this pumpkin up. Alright guys, this should be freaking epic. Let's hope that it explodes the whole pumpkin. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. It even has like smoke or steam looking stuff coming out. Let me take you down there and look at it. Oh yeah. These blast caps are freaking awesome. I'll put the link in the description if you want to go buy you some. It just blew the whole side of that pumpkin's head off. I told you this video is going to be epic. Alright. My next one, my next victim is going to include a 50 BMG round. You're gonna love it. Okay guys, another awesome way to get rid of pumpkins after Halloween is to take a 50 BMG round, shove it into the pumpkin's forehead. As you can see, this is the famous Jack Skellington from the Nightmare Before Christmas. My favorite pumpkin this year because I made it. Just jam that thing down in there. Take a torch. Put it up against the primer and blow his head up. Let's do that right now and see how awesome it's gonna be. Time to light it and run like hell. All right. That only set the primer off. It didn't actually set the powder off in the bullet. Let me keep that thing going and we'll get it to go. That was a dang failure. Let me go get another 50 BMG and we're gonna get one to go off. We're gonna get one. What the crap? How's it gonna just shoot the stuff out? Come on, man. All right, guys, second BMG. I'm not gonna push this one in as far so I can actually have the fire, not just on the primer. That way it should explode. Let's stick it right in his nose. That should work great.
<laughs> oh, that was freaking cool. Let me grab the pumpkin and I'll show you the destruction. <laughs> I don't want to waste my gas. All right, guys. I thought there was destruction. It looked like it behind it, but it isn't. They are just setting off the primers and the black powder is actually just shooting out like a like it's a little rocket engine. But you know what? We're gonna kill Jack Skellington one way or the other. Around here there's always something that'll destroy stuff. <laughs> you gotta love the destruction of shotgun. All right, guys, I got something else coming up. Keep watching. Okay, another awesome way to get rid of these rotting, nasty, stinking pumpkins is to fill one with a little gasoline, like so. Light the pumpkin on fire. And throw some 45, some live 45 rounds inside this should be freaking fun keep watching <laughs> i guess that technically didn't destroy the pumpkin but it was still fun to watch wasn't it let's add that to the pile straight down below for the finale coming up another pumpkin dead as can be all right i got one more fun thing to do and then i got a finale fun ways to get rid of these stupid pumpkins before they rot and just sit on your porch and turn into mush another awesome way to get rid of some pumpkins is by sticking the muzzle of your shotgun inside of the pumpkin and making an improvised suppressor. Ha <laughs> ha! Success. Look at the damn hole in this thing. Go! I'd say that pumpkin died for sure. It's got some more destruction coming its way though. All right, I hope y'all are ready for the finale. I got a whole stack of pumpkins down here. Let's have some fun. Okay guys, time for the finale. What better way to destroy all these pumpkins than sticking a red and blue paint can inside of this white pumpkin and unloading 15 rounds of freedom from my 12 gauge my high capacity KSG 12 gauge it's all about freedom baby you gotta love your country and I love America also I'll light a little trail of gasoline behind it keep watching it's gonna be epic guys it's gonna be awesome I haven't shot this shotgun in quite a while, guys. I've been using my cheap gun. This is my nice 12 gauge. I love it.
Freedom, baby. Freedom. Whew. All right, guys. Hopefully you like that epicness, that epic slow motion I caught on some of them, the destruction. Let me take you down here to check this out real quick. The total destruction of these pumpkins and my future pumpkin patch. Oh, yeah. That pumpkin's eyes are, he's crying blue. He's crying blue. Look at that. That's what I call getting rid of those dead, empty jack-o'-lantern pumpkins after Halloween. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Check out all my other videos. I got tons of them. And take it easy, guys. Have a good day. Later.